Ultra Zilla, and this is the Ultra Z News. Just the Ultra Z News. The first news of the year. And it's actually been a few weeks since I actually did one of these. So it's good to, to catch up, see what's uh, being talked about out there in the toy world. You know, as it pertains to the channel, because I always like to do stuff that I am interested in in some way. Let's start out with Haya Toys. They got a new version of their Stylus Godzilla coming out. A burning version. This is an exclusive. Um, so, you know, availability might be a little limited. You can pre-order it on BBTS. But I would, you know, if you're going to do so, do so right away. Because there's not going to be that many of these. So, whether or not BBTS has uh, the pre-orders up for a while... I don't know how, you know, much of a fulfillment there will be of these. So, just, you know, word of warning. Just, if you're going to put your pre-order in there, to do so. Because it is like a New Year's exclusive type deal. It looks really nice, though. You've seen me review the Stylus series uh, figure. And it's a really nice pose and stuff. Uh, you know, obviously, this is the uh, King of the Monsters version because it's a burning version. But it's basically the same thing. And it looks amazing. So, very, very nice looking figure. Looking forward to getting it. I don't know if this is going to be something I'm going to be able to review for them. But I do plan on getting it when it does drop. Um, it, because it's an exclusive figure. And sometimes exclusive figures aren't made available for uh, reviews. So... But I will check it out at some point for sure because it looks really, really nice. All right, let's move on to Power Rangers. How about this? There's going to be a Power Rangers Lightning Collection remastered subline. Now, I know what you're saying. The Lightning Collection hasn't been around that long to get remastered. However, since they have come out, They've made some advances uh, at Hasbro with pinless joints. Some folks don't like them. I I think they're great, honestly. Um, and, you know, whatever problems people might have, uh, those problems were present, like tightness in joints and stuff like that, or looseness in joints. Those problems were present when the pins were in. So regardless of that, why wouldn't you want to have a better looking figure? Um, now... I know folks are like, well, you know, uh, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to get the figure twice. Good. Don't get it. <laughs> no one is forcing you to buy any toy ever. However, a lot of folks didn't get those initial figures and might want to get these. And we also don't know yet because this is just like a leaked thing. And there has not been an official word yet. Um, we don't know if this is going to be a line wide thing. It could just be MMPR because there's always a focus on MMPR. And sometimes that's just like the focus group of this. There's also obviously going to be, you know, different effect parts and updated helmets, uh, which is really, really cool. So you are going to get more bang for your buck. And I say that because obviously these figures are probably going to be a little more expensive because they come with extra parts. So do keep that on in mind. I don't know that yet for a fact. But, you know, just assuming so. Regardless of where you are on the fence of this, I think it's really cool to update any figure that they might have, me personally, uh, to the pinless joints. Doesn't mean I'm going to uh, get them, but I think it's cool. And, you know, whatever mistakes they might have made on the helmets or whatever. Yes, maybe they shouldn't have made them to begin with. But these things happen. Um, you know. It, it is what it is. You know, uh, the remastered ones are coming out, it looks like. And I think, honestly, I think it's a good thing. Whenever you could upgrade something like this, it, you know, you could upgrade. You know, like, they want to get their figures closer to what, like, an SHF would be. And don't wouldn't you want that? Because it's still going to be a lot cheaper than an SHF. So, uh, I think it's a good idea, especially with MMPR. Uh, I'll probably be in on MMPR only because that's really... You know, as far as the ranges go, that's really what I care about having on the shelf. Really nice representations. And this looks really good. Obviously, it's just a blue ranger, and that's all we got. Let's move on. Diaclone, and I haven't talked about Diaclone in a bit. But they have a piece coming out that looks 
awesome. This is the Dia Guardian, and it's very similar to the Dia Battles piece that, that was the first and only one that I bought. Um, it's coming soon from Takara, but this looks really cool. It looks like it would go very well with that. Obviously, very similar style. So uh, I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing more of this because I, I like that design a lot. Now, speaking of Takara, you know, and a couple of Transformers that I have re really recently reviewed, starting with the Transmetal 2 Megatron, DNA Design is doing upgrade kits, as they do for a lot of stuff, uh, for this figure. And it looks really nice. You get a bunch of different heads, you get tail extensions, you get a new chest, a new hand. I think that's very cool. Uh, I like that a lot. Uh, you get, you know, a little bit of something different there for, it looks like the wings. But, though I can't exactly tell where the upgrade is there. So, but the tail thing is big. I, I talked about that just on my best of the year and Transmetal 2 Megatron was on that best of list. You check out that video if you haven't checked it out yet. Um, but I, I like this a lot. You know, it's up for pre-order right now at like Big Bad Toy Store. You can get it. TF Source, Show Z Store, TF Direct probably. Um, but I think that he those heads are really nice. You get different face plates. That's really cool. And that, of course, again, I like the tail a lot. So that is a very, very cool. I wish it came with uh, <laughs> a new uh, effect. Uh, part for the the, the flame effect because I, I lost mine, but I digress. The other upgrade kit from DNA is a Victory Saber upgrade kit. Yes. Yes, 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 because I really need a longer sword for Victory Saber. That sword is okay in Star Saber's hand, but when you upgrade him to Victory Saber, I feel like the sword gets lost. Um, you also get bigger cannons and bigger wings and an alternate faceplate. So uh, all of those things, look at that, makes it look even better. And that is super cool. Um, you already spent the money on uh, Victory Saber. And uh, I think, you know, uh, it's worth upgrading a little bit. Uh, and this is just what I need. Not a ton of stuff, extends the wings, makes the cannons bigger, and most definitely needed, it makes the sword bigger. And you know what? Uh, if you saw my Victory Saber review, and please do watch that. I put a lot of effort into that. Uh, it's been the subject of a lot of talk for me and a lot of uh, thought. Um, you know, I had a little bit of a mess up on uh, my faceplate on my original. So, you know, the upgraded face is not a bad thing either. So, yeah, look at that sword. That is a sword worthy of Victory Saber. Yeah, perfect. And it's not that expensive. It's like like 25 bucks. That is not bad for an upgrade kit. So put me down for that one, definitely. Possibly the, the Megatron one. Though. If I pass on it, I pass on it. It's about the same amount as well, by the way. So very, very cool. This is how it looks in uh, the jet mode now. The V-Star mode with the bigger wings. I think that looks really good. Though I, I, I'm not changing it out from Victory Saber anymore. And there's Victory Leo with the new cannons. Very awesome, indeed. Speaking of Transformers, DST is doing a really, really nice looking Grimlock statue in robot mode. This looks fantastic. <laughs> hey, DST, I want to review this, letting you know right now. This looks incredible. So this uh, statue is up for pre-order right now. It's going to run you a little bit over 100 bucks, But boy, does that look incredible. Really like that a lot. So I'm hoping uh, I'll be able to review that. Star Ace is doing a Bella Lugosi Dracula. How cool is that? A one-fourth polyresin statue. That looks very good. Really, really nice stuff here. Very, very nice. And uh, in some Bandai news, Figure Art Zero has a Ultraman Z original coming. Uh, that looks really cool. A nice little statue. Speaking of statues as well, right? With this zesty little zestium beam. Nice base. We reviewed the Tiga statue. That was really cool. 
Uh, this looks like another nice one in the line. Uh, I'm digging that a lot. This is a really cool new uh, model kit line Bandai is doing. It's called Planosaurus. Uh, and you build a skeleton and then you put like the skin over it. That looks very nice. You got a Triceratops, a T-Rex, a Mosasaurus, and a Stegosaurus coming out. And uh, all of these are up for pre-order at, at HLJ right now. You could uh, check the link down below. Uh, you know, it helps support your channel by clicking that link and going to pre-order your Planosauruses or whatever else you might want. These look really cool, really. They, they're And they're articulated too. So how awesome is that? And they're cheap. Very cool. Hey, check this out. Ninjor is coming out in the SMP model kit line. That is very cool. Striking a pose here. <laughs> So you can see, speaking of articulated, how articulated this ninja is. Very, very nice. And uh, how about a high metal VF1J armored version? That's a thing that's coming in the high metal series. Very awesome. Very, very awesome. Look at that. That is absolutely gorgeous. I am getting the uh, VF1S. I think it's coming out in February. I have it on pre-order. Um, that, you know, this might be a really good accompaniment to that one. But this one's going to be a lot more expensive because of the armor, I would I guess. Because look at all of those parts. Ooh, that looks really good, though. Honestly, that's really nice. So, we'll see. We'll see. Kotobukiya is uh, doing a... Uh, what's this guy's name? Kabuto man, Gabuto, Gabotor, um, this guy from Yatterman. Really cool looking little robot doggy guy that transforms. <laughs> and last but not least, how about this for fun? Kaiju One, the vinyl, uh, Japanese vinyl uh, company Kaiju One is doing a dig hard john mcclain vinyl figure this was by lottery only i believe this is over now but i you know it came up uh during the time when i uh had you know a little bit of a break from the ultra zine news there for the holidays but how about that vinyl figure that is pretty awesome i do love me some die hard and there you go guys that's it that is the ultra zine news for now Hope you dug it. Let me know your thoughts down below on any of this stuff. Any other news you thought was cool since my last Ultra Z news, share it down below. Until next time, peace out. <laughs>